So Dr. Peter Kahn supports and manages patients with chronic conditions using a comprehensive approach by merging the exciting advances of functional neurology and functional medicine. Dr. Kahn is board certified in integrative medicine, functional medicine, and a board certified chiropractic neurologist. He is the creator of the Neurometabolic Integration, a virtual consultation program that identifies the root causes of autoimmune and other chronic conditions. Over 5,000 patients from across the country have come to seek out his holistic approach that is changing the lives of those suffering from chronic conditions. Born in Taiwan and immigrated to America at the age of 13, Dr. Khan has deep appreciation of the Eastern wisdom and Western advances in natural healthcare. He believes in the God-given ability of the body to heal and regulate itself. So the name of your event coming up uh, is, is like the big idea. And I love the, this phrase you coined. Can you kind of tell us like, what is, what is the big idea? What is this whole concept we'll cover today? Absolutely. I mean, uh, it really originated just from my bad dad joke humor. I like to make things rhyme and acronyms and I, I thought it was kind of funny play on words, but really it, it's much bigger than that. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so the big idea, you know, is the acronym for BIG, which is brain immune gut. And, you know, my practice, I work with a lot of people who are chronically sick and, and many of them have a lot of symptoms in different places. So for example, like people who come to me with Lyme and people who come to me with mold toxicity, or someone comes to me and say they have chronic candida or somebody comes to me with Hashimoto's, guess what they all complain of? Very similar things. Mm. So if you're watching this, you might identify with this. Do you suffer with any brain symptoms? Brain symptom would be things like fatigue, brain fog, depression, anxiety, short-term memory issues, right? Those are brain symptoms. That's very common among people with Lyme disease, thyroid problem, adrenal fatigue, all very similar. And then you have people who have immune system challenges. This might be like chronic inflammation. You get sick a lot. You know, you always get sinusitis or always get some kind of bronchitis, can't shake it. You have chronic inflammation in your body that might show up as like always achy, joint pain, fibromyalgia, or you have chronic inflammation like in your lungs. So you have always have asthma. So you have this chronic inflammatory issue. And really the biggest way that shows up for a lot of people is autoimmunity or early autoimmunity. Maybe you're not diagnosed with autoimmune disease yet, but you have that autoimmune reaction or autoimmune mm -hmm. tendency. So that's immune system, that's brain immune. And then the last section is gut. How many people watching here right now have GI problems? You know, gas, bloating, reflux, heartburn, constipation, diarrhea, food sensitivity issues, right? So what that's I see awesome, yeah. is that when people show up with Hashimoto's or adrenal problem or Lyme disease or whatever chronic thing, that mystery illness that they have, they always have some kind of brain symptom, immune system problem and gut problem. It's like this common thread. So I started to figure out that, okay, wh what's causing this? And turn out it's not you because you have a separate problem with your brain and you have a separate problem with your immune system and you have a separate problem with your gut. What, what's happening is that there's a brain immune gut access. Okay. And then we talk about the brain gut connection or the gut brain connection a lot in the natural alternative field. I'm sure many people have heard of the gut brain or brain gut connection. But I feel like the immune system is kind of left out of there. And in fact, the immune system is the go-between or the messenger between the gut and the brain. So if we don't discuss the immune system in this context, I think a lot of the context becomes lost because people start thinking like, oh, I have leaky gut. Uh, oh, but then I also have like this virus issue that's separate, Epstein-Barr. Oh, I also have this mold problem. And that's a separate problem. Maybe so, but not necessarily because viruses and mold and leaky gut, they're all going to impact the brain and the immune system and the gut. So the big idea is that the brain, the immune system and the gut is interconnected. They co-create each other's health, but they also co-create each other's demise. Meaning when you have gut problems, you start to cause chronic inflammation and also brain issues. When you have brain problems, you get chronic gut problems and inflammation problem or mm. immune system dysfunction. When you have immune system problem, chronic infection, chronic inflammation, mold exposure, Lyme disease, whatnot, you start to degrade the gut and de gut degrade the brain. That's mm. just really what happens. Now, if that's the case, then what do you do? You know, how do you like untangle this and start to, you know, make things better? It turns out that you can't like 
throw everything in the kitchen sink at it. Okay. Because that's what a lot of people do when, you know, when you watch a lot of summit, you know, you do a lot of research online, as many people with chronic health problem do, you start to like, think like you need to take every single supplement on the sun. Cause it all sounds like a good idea. And you may need all those supplements, but you may need them at different point in time. So mm -hmm. that's where a roadmap or sequence become re really a big deal. Hey, the big deal, the big came up again. <laughs> oh gosh, there you go. Hey, hey, you know, <laughs> that's just how I do it. You should uh, do a uh, supplement line and everyone's called big, like Megan. Big Sport. supplement. <laughs> big this, big that, big everything. <laughs> Love it. Uh, go big or go home. But, um, but the big idea is that there's not just this brain immune gut access, this connection, but that there's also a sequence to how you want to sequence the reset of the brain immune gut access, right? So it's all about like winding this down because what happens is you have multiple mechanisms that causes multiple vicious cycles. For example, the more leaky gut you have, the more inflammation you get. Mm -hmm. The more inflammation you get, the more that also triggers antibody against blood brain barrier protein, then you get leaky brain. And the more leaky brain you have, the more brain debris that normally are contained in the brain leak outside of the blood brain barrier. And now your immune system's reacting to those brain debris. So now you develop brain autoimmunity and then the brain autoimmunity causes more immune system challenges, which come back and cause more gut problems. So it becomes this multiple vicious cycle of more inflammation, fee forward, causing more inflammation. And this is why some people just, it's very difficult. It's very difficult for them to shake it, to get better, to build momentum because there's multiple things happening. So the way you do that is you want to sequence this reset. And the best way that I can explain to people, and I think people would just instantly get this image that will help them understand it, is that, you know, the example of somebody who's unconscious, right? If you were come upon a scene of an accident and you see somebody laying there unconscious and you want to help, you know, what do you do first, right? Remember from CPR, ABC, right? Airway, breathing, circulation. So there's a triage, right? So if somebody is laying on the side of the road unconscious, they're not breathing and they have a broken leg. What do you fix first? Come on, guys, put in the chat. Let's get this in there. They, they got to get breathing. We're on yeah. Facebook, right? So <laughs> what do you fix first? The, the, not, the, not, the fact that this person's not breathing or you fix the broken leg first? I yeah, think everybody breathe. will answer the breathing, right? Yeah, I mean, right. Yeah. In medicine, this is called triage. You fix the most life-threatening or the, mo the thing that's going to impact the whole entire body first. And you fix the thing that's more isolated or more local second, right? Mm. So if you're not breathing, every single cell in your body will literally suffer because you're not getting oxygen. Where a broken leg, that's just a local issue. So in functional medicine, in healing chronic health conditions, there's the sequence or roadmap. So if you, so for the example would be like, let's just say somebody has anemia, right? Anemia is defined having low red blood cell, low hemoglobin, no low hematocrit. And if you have anemia, that means you can't deliver oxygen to your tissue. Now this person has anemia, go to the doctor and the doctor say, oh, you know, maybe they go to the hormone specialist. I say that with quotey fingers. So then if you go to the hormone person, they say, oh, you're just fatigued. You need some testosterone, right? So then given testosterone, oh, you just need some, your adrenal glands met, so you need to take adrenal. Well, you have anemia. You need to fix the anemia first. If you don't fix the anemia, what's taking testosterone or estrogen or progesterone going to do to fix the anemia? Nothing. Even if you make the testosterone and estrogen progesterone better, you're still anemic and you still didn't solve that problem, which is actually the first step, kind of like the ABC in CPR, mm -hmm. if you're not breathing and you're not delivering fuel to your tissue, it matters not how much hormone you take. Mm. And in context of what we're talking about, Bridget, you know, we're talking about brain detox and you just, you're on a de the DIY detox on it. In order for you to detox, it's, it takes energy, right? Mm -hmm. Like energy, like I call it is the currency in the body. You need money to buy stuff. Like if you want to remodel your house, you need money to buy the material. You need money to hire the worker to put it together, right? In the remodeling sense. In your body, if you're trying to remodel your body, <laughs> meaning to heal, you need energy to like get, you know, stuff to where it needs to be. You need energy for the enzyme reactions and all the stuff for you to build new tissues. 
for DNA process to occur. You need energy to do that. So if you're anemic or your blood sugar is unstable, guess what? You're not going to be able to detox very well. So here we are trying to detox, but yet the person may be having low blood sugar tendencies, hypoglycemia, anemia, iron deficiency. So that's kind of a, the roadmap approach. So in the brain immune gut master class, I outline each step of the roadmap by having like a mastery session. So this is a master class that I'm doing. So it's very, just like your DIY detox, very actionable, a lot of things that you can take away from it that you can implement. So in the brain immune gut master class, when you guys opt into it and when, when it starts on March 15th, there will be mastery session on each step of this clinical roadmap that I'm going to outline for you. Okay. Mm. And I also interview experts in that particular step. For example, if I were talking about blood sugar, I have an expert in blood sugar that's going to corroborate and give us more insight on blood sugar. But then there's an individual session that I talk about blood sugar to help you understand it even better. Uh, if we're talking about, you know, uh, anemia, or, or cardio, you know, uh, perfusion, which is delivering blood to your tissue, then we have somebody who's an expert on cardiovascular health that's going to talk about perfusion. So this way, you are able to understand step by step, what are the first thing you need to do? What's the second thing you need to do? What's the third thing? So you're not overwhelmed with like, wow, I'm a person that has mold. I also have Hashimoto's. I also am anemic. I also have leaky gut. I also have Epstein Barr. Like if you're that person that's like, yep, that's me. I have like everything. What do you fix first? Right? Because yeah. the goal is not to take every supplement and fix every single problem you have, even though you might need it, but you might need it over the course of time. So that at any given point, you should be focusing on a specific, specific thing so that over time you are addressing all those problems, just not all at the same time necessarily. Clinically speaking, people get better results. It's also easier to follow, more compliance. You also know what, you, what got better and what still needs to be worked mm -hmm. on. So you're progressing mm -hmm. through this process. And it's also not so overwhelming. So people are taking so much supplement. Like if you're taking more than 10 supplements, you're probably taking more than you need, really. Yeah, the body can only like process so much information, I think, you know. Exactly. It's not just the fact that you use a lot of supplements, like what are you trying to get the body to do? You know, you're, you're pulling it in all different direction, leaky gut and minerals and detox. What do you want the body to do at this moment in time? Kind of like that person who's passed out. What do you want to do to help this person the most? This person's not breathing and has a broken leg. Do you run out to this person who's not breathing, has a broken leg and say, he needs testosterone. He needs hormone replacement. Like you wouldn't think that. Why would you think that for yourself, right? And, I, and I'm not saying that there's not a time or a place that you might need hormone replacement, but I'm just saying that's, that's usually farther down the road. And even if you need the hormone, but if you still have like priorities where the, the first few step is not in place, then even if you needed the hormone, the hormone may not work that great for you. And many times what I know is people come to me, they're already taking thyroid hormone. They're already taking their estrogen, progesterone. They're still feeling like, man, these things are supposed to help with those problems, but it's not helping. So right. you can get the foundations better. Wow. The same dose as thyroid hormone. Now I'm, it's working. Well, the same dose of estrogen. Now it's working. That's the beauty of doing things mm. kind of deconstructed and build it from the ground up. I think people, people like that idea of an order because they do feel like it's chaos. So these examples you gave about anemia or oxygen or blood sugar, those are actual ones that are kind of high on the list for you to address first. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. So the, now when I say it's a roadmap, that means like a sequence step by step, right? Okay. Kind of like, um, password on your phone, you know? So like, let's just say the password is one, two, three, four, and you type in four, three, two, one. Well, guess what? Those are the right numbers. Right. They're even the right number of numbers, but you just put it in the wrong order. Then your phone doesn't unlock, mm -hmm. right? Same thing in the body. If you do things out of order, those may be all the things you need, like hormones and detox and all that stuff. Sure. But if you do it in the wrong order, kind of like the passcode to your phone, you, you're not going to unlock this healing mechanism, mm. right? Just like the person who's not breathing has a broken leg and we choose to fix their hangnail. It's not a very efficient way of getting that person what they really need at this moment in time to get better. Now, once the breathing is reestablished, right, then maybe we can work on the broken leg. 
but one at a time, right? So when you do it like that, it's more elegant and it's more efficient and more cost effective. Just, you know, everything's better that way. So this sequence, is it something you developed or kind of pieced together from different programs you studied or how did, how'd you come to it? Yeah, it's really just um, a culmination of all the studies that I've done. You know, I have really people that I model after my clinical practice and, and just that shape my, even my understanding of how the body works and how functional medicine fits into it. I mean, by the way, you know, I just have a lot of years of experience. I mean, I, I started practice in 2003 and, um, you know, I, I've, I've seen over 5,000 cases and that's 5,000 separate people. I mean, we have seen yeah. 5,000 people and, and many of them, you know, that we do one-on-ones with them and many of them, we do lab work every two months. I mean, that's like over 10,000 and counting lab results that I've seen. Yeah. So after a while, you start to see patterns, right? You start to see like, okay, you know, usually we see this cluster of this commonality. You look for common threads and pattern because otherwise you get really confused. And also you learn what's not working and what works. So certainly I learned a lot from failure, right? Failure is not failure. Failure is just a chance for you to learn from it. So, and that's really what shaped my, you know, uh, shaped this, this roadmap. It's just literally my, my years of experience. I mean, I'm baby Yoda's age, you know, for those of you who watch Mandalorian, you can figure out how old baby Yoda is, <laughs> but I'm baby Yoda's age. Okay. So you've I'm seen a one client a year for 5,000 years. <laughs> 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 not Yoda's age, but baby Yoda's age. I don't know baby Yoda. I've heard about baby Yoda, but I don't know it. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that um, th this is all just my clinical experience of okay. what worked and what hasn't worked based on literature, based on, you know, all the, the postgraduate courses that I take and based on experience. And literally, I'm just sharing that with people, you know, and a lot of people tell me that this brain meme got masterclass, almost like a doctor level kind of thing, you know, like very detailed functional medicine, like thesis, you know, about how, how, you know, my take on how it works. Now, certainly I'm not the only, it's not the only way. There are many ways to skin the cat, but I feel like based on my experience, this is what usually works the best. And if people will follow the roadmap, they'll get a much better understanding of their condition and also what works for them and what doesn't work for them. The worst thing is doing a bunch of stuff Let's just say you take 50 supplements and you feel like, you know what, I'm better off. I feel better taking 50 supplements than if I didn't. The problem, even if you feel better doing that, which one out of the 50 supplements is really doing the thing for you, right? Yeah. The 80-20 rule is that probably 20% of what you're doing is giving you 80% of result. Wouldn't it be better if you can just focus on 20% that's making you better and shed the excess 80% that's not doing very much for you? You end up saving a lot of money and, and being more effective. Um, so, you know, that's really important for people to understand. Yeah, well, I want to comment on a couple of things you said at the beginning, you were saying, you know, there's so many symptoms and they all kind of look alike, right? Whether it's brain or I, I've been writing a lot lately and I'm writing an article. I just finished an article on leaky brain in honor of your event. I'll put it to the blog and put your event out. Thank you. You're welcome. But I feel like every time I list the symptoms for all every condition, I write, it's like practically the same list every time right? Okay. Because everything, you know, everything crosses over maybe a little bit. Okay. If you have more, you know, brain, it might look a little bit more like this than, you know, SIBO or then, but like a lot of it is the same list of symptoms. And I'm like, oh gosh, I hope people aren't like, who is this girl? <laughs> she thinks that, but it, it's because they all, they feed each other. And I just, you know, writing about the blood brain barrier. Yeah, if there, you have gut infections, if you have inflammation elsewhere in the body, Lyme disease, coronaviruses, you can make these, in, these compounds that irritate the blood brain barrier. And I don't think people even, you know, they don't make that connection. Like you said, you might say, well, I, I have some gut issue. I don't feel good. But what's actually happening? Your immune system is kind of reacting to these infections and it's making these like sticky inflamed molecules and now that's breaking down your brain barrier your brain isn't getting nutrition now it's not signaling to your gut right so it is quite the circle um you know and if i can have a client who has a has a lot of labs and has that to get a bigger picture it's great some one thing i say is also you can kind of kind of pick and choose like don't do it all at once but if you like yeah i really do i can 
read well, blood sugar is important for blood brain barrier too it's like if you, if you know that piece is one that mm, it's time to work on you know you can spend a little more time on it or if a client can only eat three foods like they're just so sensitive like let's work on that because that's obviously like a big area and there'll be some trickle down you know to other systems and then we go work on those because yeah it's just too much even just to take supplements brain immune gut whatever else you're taking and we'll get clients coming in with 25 supplements and they're like I don't even remember why I took I'm taking this one I just started a long time ago I'm still on it so I, I like to help people go through their list and focus on what's most important right now and in my own health and just kind of maintaining there's little ups and downs and sometimes I'm like oh I want to work more on my hormones or this or that but I don't do it all at once I just sort of like let let the squeaky wheel tell me what it wants a little help. Well, on average you know a, a person that I work with one-on-one -on -one with they, they might take five six supplements <laughs> I mean great. these are people yeah. who are sick and, and yeah. these are people with autoimmune and major problems they're, they're I, you know usually five six is enough because we're we're identifying what's the most important thing for them using this roadmap to guide us and then I love what you said earlier, but there's a trickle down effect, right? When you, this is the benefit. When you do things in a roadmap in a priority fashion, you fix the most important things first. There's a trickle down effect of that thing that you fix that help with other things get better to the point yeah. where maybe some things that used to be a problem that no longer is a problem, even though you didn't touch it, but it got better because the primary thing got better. And even if the secondary thing is still there, by fixing the primary thing, the secondary thing becomes easier to untangle and fix. Yeah. So I love that the trickle down effect where it's, it's very appropriate. And, uh, and, and another thing I wanna say is that, you know, uh, <clears throat> it is complicated as Bridget just said. I mean, she was able to just rattle out like, yeah, brain bubbling barrier infection causing, you know, antibody response and you get this, I mean, because she's studying it, right? She's, she's, she's yeah. a, herself, but for a lay person, this could be, you know, complicated. And, and I think the problem is a lot of people, they just kind of listen to like a headline, they listen to one piece of information It's kind of catchy. So they kind of get that analogy. But what I feel what people really need is they need detailed information. Like for me, the way I teach, I kind of don't leave stuff out. I just give it to people. I mean, it might seem like a lot, but what I do is I draw stuff out. I make it easy. I speak in English. So it's easier yeah. for people. Don't to, give us it in Taiwanese. We definitely yeah. don't. <laughs> I, I don't. I try not to speak to people in doctor. I try to speak to them in English. So then it's easy to understand, right? But I feel like it's important for people to get the whole context of it. Because if you just hear leaky brain and you hear one piece of it, I feel like it's almost like, you know, the, the, the old adage, you know, just enough to be dangerous. And sometimes it can be dangerous because you're not having the right. full context. So having the context of the whole entire roadmap is important. So my, my, my advice to people is learn, right? But yeah. learn in a way that you have to like have, make sense of it. And my hope is that through this Brain Immune Gut Masterclass, which you guys can, can sign up for, and I highly recommend it. I mean, it's free for viewing and it's very valuable because normally, I mean, it's a, it's a class that I teach, okay? And usually it's uh, $297, real world value. I mean, right now, you know, if we were to land on that site, it's 297 to, to purchase the masterclass. You get to watch it for seven days for free, which is tremendous value. You can use the link that Bridget provide in, uh, in the chat to sign up for it, okay? And then it's free for you to watch, starts March 15. It's seven days of me taking you through each step of the roadmap to help you understand it. So I think that's invaluable because once you have that structure then all these data points and the things you pick up along the way, like from different summits might just make more sense for you. So you have a lot of data, but it's putting that data in a coherent sequence that's gonna help you. So my hope is that this masterclass help you get that sequence. Yeah, and I, you know, I, again, it can be hard to get feedback from these big events, but I got at least two or three people telling me it was great. And you're getting a sense of Peter really quickly. Like you just ask him one question and he starts, you know, having a lot of valuable information. So he's a great educator. So I think the event will give you um, a lot of information. We had a question about working with him. I put his main site in there. And then Peter too, there's after the, uh, master class there's a deeper course right where they can really yeah, i mean for people who want to dive deeper 
I have a digital program where it's, it's, you know, the masterclass is like a seven day kind of an interview style. I interview, you know, people that I know that know their stuff about specific things. So I really to build this thesis, this idea that there's a roadmap and you guys need that roadmap. You know, it's, it's unreasonable to think that, you know, you're going to learn everything you need in like seven days. Right. And, and it really, m- most people need to spend time in it. So I developed this, you know, a digital program where it takes you through 16 weeks of very detailed information, teach you how to assess yourself, teach you how to, okay, based on your assessment, do you, if you have scenario A, then these are the things you might do for that. If you have scenario B, these are the things that you might do for that. So it's very detailed, but in any case, even just uh, doing the masterclass will be of tremendous benefit for you. That's what I recommend. And yeah. a lot of people are asking, you know, hey, do, can I work with you one-on-one, Dr. Khan? And even before I had this masterclass and digital program, I always tell people that they have to watch my videos first, <laughs> watch several videos until they get where I'm coming from before I even take them on. Because without context, doing something without understanding why you're doing it doesn't do you any good, in my opinion. You know, I just feel like people right. will get out of the, the, the program and, and their, their healing process if they know why they're doing something. I'm so big on that that I will not even take take somebody on if they don't get what I'm saying. So, yeah. you know, I think starting yeah. with the master class will be a great start for all of you because it's, it's number one, it's free for seven days. And number two, you can get a lot out of it. Yeah, I totally agree about education. I guess different people go through life different ways. But for me, information empowers me to make certain choices. So I often share when I studied, started to study functional medicine, I used to know like eating a big cookie was like bad for me in some ambiguous way. I didn't really know why. It was bad. It was a bad job, <laughs> right? And then I was like, oh, it spikes your blood sugar. And like, that's what happens when you spike your blood sugar and then you crash or then you have gluten and that can stop leaky gut and make your brain. And like, now a cookie isn't just like good or bad. It's like, what is this choice going to do to my body? I can still make that choice, but now I'm informed. And after I eat the cookie and if I don't feel so good, now I know why. So to me, like that knowledge, you know, is power. And uh, a lot of people would rather not have the knowledge. Frankly. They well, you know, it. once you know something, you can't <laughs> unknow it, right? Oh, so once yeah. you know something, it's kind of like, okay, do you want to have an integrity, the integrity to do what you believe, right? If you say like, yeah, gluten is terrible, but then you're doing it. It's kind of like, you're not practicing what you preach, then you know, then don't, don't complain when you don't feel good. Kind of, I know it's kind of, I'm trying to be facetious or whatever, but it's kind of like, if you don't feel good, find out what's causing it. And if you identify, if you're able to identify what's causing it, then, you know, it'll do you good to, you know, try to eliminate that or identify sometimes not what you're, it's not that you have something that you don't need. Sometimes you don't have something that you do need, right? Maybe you're lacking something. So it's always either deficiency of something or or toxicity of something. So you may have to identify both what you're toxic with, but also what you're lacking as well. But whatever you identify, you have to follow through with it. So then you get the result. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you do. It just matter whether you're better from what you do. And mm. if you're better, let's just say you did some energy work and oh, you wave this crystal and you got better. Awesome. Like just wave the crystal. That's all you need to do. Cause that's for you. That works a lot for of you. time and energy. Just <laughs> You know, I, my arm's getting tired, but what I, I'm, again, I, I'm using extreme examples, and this is kind of how I teach, you know, I use sometimes these extreme examples, but to show contrast, because that's a good way to learn, you know, oh, that's ridiculous, Dr. Khan, nobody will wave a crystal, but then you kind of see like, okay, it doesn't matter if it's crystal or not, what I'm saying is, whatever you do, find out what works for you, and if it works, that's awesome. But yeah. there's also universal principle that guides how our body works, right? So then if you can follow this roadmap, which I outlined for you in the Brain Human Gut Masterclass, you're going to increase your probability of getting there faster and getting there with less, you know, uh, detours. Right. And frustrations. Yeah. I kind of a couple more comments on this. I feel like this is education day. It's one, like learn a lot, but then filter it, right? You don't have to do it all. So people, I posted a lot of summits now. People get overwhelmed. They complain. I'm like, you don't have to do it all. You don't even have to listen to it all. Pick a few you want to listen to. If you're like, wow, I love that suggestion about apple cider vinegar. Go do that. You don't have to do it all. There's only so much you can take 
into your body and only so much you can take mentally before it's too much. So just pace yourself. The body wants to kind of go slow anyways. So, you know, don't do it all. Don't stress yourself out. Uh, another thing I want to say is my clients, similar to, to yours, they come so smart, you know, and I love it so much. You know, it's almost like we're just having a conversation between colleagues, which is yes. super fascinating. They're like, well, I know all this stuff, but like, I just want a little feedback. And it's so refreshing. You know, we rarely have to talk about diet too much because they're already doing so good. And um, it does make a difference. You know, all that knowledge you're compiling does make, I mean, it made a difference for my own health, right? I, I didn't have the information and tools to heal myself from mold and everything that came, but you do, you do learn, you know, little by little different events and all that. And then, you know, you can look back a year later at three years later, whatever, and be like, wow, I'm in a really different place. Uh, I'm so much more empowered, all those things. So it's, it's, you know, you, you're not going to get uh, maybe how could I say, like, the, the information you get and the power you get is very personal, although you can share it. Um, but it's, it's just like, so critical often to your success and your happiness in life to have the, that health knowledge, right? Because you don't have your health, you don't, you don't have much, you can't get out and do things, you can't think straight, all that. So I, I feel like 100%, you know, investing your time and educating on health is just super worth it. Yeah, it's a uh, it gives you pay it pays you much more than you put in and um and and hopefully you know uh through this brain immune gut masterclass that you know the, the audience can shortcut that process right can get there faster uh, right. because we know that there's there's benefit and there's dividends to be paid uh, by doing by investing in your health and we want to make that dividend pay you back many times more and, and get you there faster. Awesome. Well, I'll just do a screen share of the site. If anybody has any specific questions for Dr. Khan, now is your moment to ask them. I know we've been kind of big picturing it right now. That's kind of fun sometimes. We get excited. <laughs> okay, one sec. Um, where's this page? And I'm speaking in there about toxins, right? On some point of it. Uh, yes. So your talk is actually a bonus talk. So it's oh, going to be, okay. updated. yeah. So you're going to be a bonus on the toxins and you're going to be uh, actually right up front, like even before the event. So you're a pre-event bonus. Oh, fun. I like to be a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually. It's like those little, those little things that kind of make me happy. Well, all we have is our computers and Zoom. It's nice to have these little things. So yeah, here's what the page looks like. Um, again, maybe just start here because this starts pretty soon. And then you can always look into working further with Dr. Khan afterwards, whether it's through educational program or individually. Um, any last thoughts, Dr. Khan? Oh, here we maybe. Excuse me. Um, no, I mean, <coughs> excuse me. The most important thing is I, I mean, there's not much I can guarantee, but I can guarantee you that this brain immune gut mask class will give you some uh, jaw dropping moments and jaw dropping, meaning like it changes how you see things like, oh, I used to think that's how that worked. But now this, I understand this is how this actually works. My goal is to give you a jaw dropping moment every single day of, of the, this master class, because uh, that's what I aim to do, because by, by giving you jaw dropping, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm trying to change your behavior. I'm trying to give you better outcomes. And uh, I can tell you that um, I have no reservation about telling you that this will give you that. Okay, so go ahead and register for the uh, Brain Immune Gut Masterclass. It's going live March 15th. You can register for free here. Uh, I see uh, Barbara does have a question here. You want me to answer it, Bridget? Yeah, go ahead and then I'll, I'll kind of give my two cents too. Okay, so Barbara asked a really good question. You mentioned it takes energy to detox. What supplements do you feel is good for this? And Barbara, you're gonna hear me say this throughout the Brain Immune Gut Masterclass and even beyond. I don't know. No, well, that's not the answer. The answer is depends. Right. It depends, right? 
Because you say it takes energy to detox. What supplement feels good for this? Good for what? Good for energy? Well, that depends on what's sapping your energy. Is it an adrenal problem? Is it a virus issue? Is it mold? Is it your blood sugar stinks? You know, not stable? Is it because you're anemic, right? There's a lot of, as we said in the beginning of this interview, there are many conditions that overlap that can cause fatigue. I mean, just how many different conditions can cause fatigue? My gosh, right? So many different things that can cause fatigue. So it's not about what's good for fatigue. So one, one of the first thing I teach people is to ask better questions. The quality of your question determines the quality of your answer. The quality of your question actually determines the quality of your, your, your life. Mm. Because we ask, you know, questions that are just like, what do I do? Kind of like, you know, what do I take for, hey, I have a war, I, you know, I have fatigue. What do I take yeah. for it? Well, guess what? You're going to be sold every single supplement under the sun to tell you that that's good for your fatigue, right? five hour energy drink, monster drink, take this supplement, that supplement. But if you understand the mechanism of what possibly can be contributing to fatigue, and you can also self-identify what symptom you have, along with other things that can tell you to isolate what's causing your fatigue, now you can make a better choice about what specific way to go about it. So one of the first thing you wanna do is, you know, try to ask question about what's causing that rather than what do I take for that? That is so important. That, that should be a jaw dropping moment right there. I think she's wondering, Barbara, you can chime in here. I think she's saying, how do we energize our bodies to detox? That was how I read it. Oh, I okay. So, so that, because she said, <laughs> what supplement do you feel is good for this? But uh, so again, it, it, you, you asked a really good question. Energy is needed to detox. So what can we do to improve energy? Well, what we can do to improve energy is not just supplements right yeah. could be just diet could be how you eat the timing of how you eat could be exercise or the lack thereof could be your stress level or you know uh, too much stress could be sleep or the lack thereof so there's a lot of factors to it right so so again fatigue is one of those symptoms that and by the way fatigue is a brain symptom fatigue is not an energy problem because you experience fatigue in your brain don't you mm -hmm. right do you, do you experience fatigue in your buttock? Like, that's <laughs> not, not what you usually, feel. Usually, like you're hiking a mountain. <laughs> my, my butt's tired. No, right, exactly. But when you, if you're hiking and your butt's tired, that's, that's muscular tiredness. That you recover when you stop hiking and you give it a little break, right? Fatigue in the brain, if it's chronic, like you have it more frequently than not, is a brain phenomena. It's not happening in your bicep or your pec or your glutes. Fatigue is happening in your brain. So if you have fatigue, you should just say, I have a brain symptom right there. That's a brain problem. Then you have to ask, okay, what's causing that particular brain problem? And it turns out that there is a priority system, the roadmap that I talk about. Mm. Again, two, well, two of the first things that I talked about already in this roadmap was the fact that if you're anemic, if you have poor circulation, if you have low blood pressure, that can cause fatigue. And then that's pressure and perfusion. And then the second thing is blood sugar. If you have hypoglycemia, you can be fatigued. If you have high blood sugar, you can be fatigued. You know, so, so there's a lot of different True. things. Yeah, yeah. You got to find out which one it is for you. Then we can talk about what supplement to take based on what particular mechanism that you have. So this is getting deeper, more diagnostic, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to teach you guys how to do this. Right, do this. right. Yeah, how is your blood sugar? How is your stress? And to me, you know, and this kind of goes back to thinking in Chinese, medicine practitioner, you know, it's, and it's why it's great to work with a practitioner because it's, it's like, you can't always see what's right in front of you. And sometimes it's like, mm, you really gotta do this. And you just need somebody else to kind of give you that, that nudge. So um, well, also yeah. another thing is that I see that so many people nowadays are so educated because there's so many summits and so many information online. That's great. And what happens is, they tend to like latch on to something that they heard like, oh, lectins or, oh, you know, th this and that. And, and what happens is they forget to do the basic foundational things. And, and my goal is to get people to focus on the foundational thing, like step one, step two, step three, right? So do the- Right, you're not allowed to keep going well. till you and drink then water. You can, yeah, <laughs> then you can branch on to the more, the more you know, less likely, le less probability, you know? So, but even if you want to fix the mold and fix the, you know, the heavy metal detox and all of that stuff, 
if your foundation is shaky, meaning your fuel delivery is not there and you, you're not digesting food, then you know the stuff down the line with the detox or the hormone, it's going to be you know, uh, more challenging than not. Yeah. Yeah. So I am going to be on a couple of summits soon about mitochondria, Barb. I, I just, or I love like talking about supporting cellular health and there are brought a lot of broad ways to do that as well. But, um, to me, that was really pivotal in my healing journey. And it's so funny. It's just like chicken and the egg. Like if you have mold in your body, it's going to sap the energy you need to detox. So sometimes you need to detox to be able to detox. Sure. Better. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And there's a time and place to jump out of that sequence. But, but, but what, I guess, you know, if somebody have acute mercury poisoning, of course, you got to go straight to it. If somebody has like, wow, I just ripped my wall open. I see a bunch of black mold in my wall. Dude, you need to like detox that right now, right? Right, right. But still, you still need to like get the blood sugar stable. You still need to do those things at the, at the same time because otherwise it makes a detox harder. You know, this is when people might get detox reactions because they're just inefficient at detoxing because their fuel delivery is not there or the digestion is not there and so forth. Perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Khan. It's always fun to talk to you. I'm excited to see the event launch again. Um, well, we have one. <laughs> I don't know if we want to take that or, or not on glutathione, but glutathione is great for detox. So I, I think we both sell it, Dr. Khan and I. Um, and I'm going to be on Instagram Live with Dr. Debbie Bright shortly if you want to see even more of me at, in 13 minutes. Do you know Dr. Debbie? You no, know not Dr. familiar. Uh, yeah, her brother lives here in town now. Um, she's in California, uh, kind of functional chiropractor specializing in weight loss. So Okay. We'll hop cool. over and do that in a minute. And yeah, the you can sign up. Hopefully you already did. And then it starts in three weeks, two and a half weeks. Yep. Two and a half Correct. weeks. Looking Perfect. forward to it. Yeah. Thanks so much everybody for being on and your questions. I will be back next week. I can't remember who my guest is, <laughs> but it'll be amazing. <laughs> Bye everybody.